In this video, we are going to see how to update our Hacker F1 board. It's just a Hacker F1 board. It's not a port pack. So we are just going to see how to update our Hacker F1 board uh, with the latest firmware of Hacker F1. So as you can see, uh, this one is R9, uh, which is uh, now not, not a latest version because R10 is uh, out. So R10 is the latest one and R10 is based on uh, R8 revision as they are saying uh, and they have revert most of the things which uh, done in R9. So yeah, so we will go through R10 as well as soon as it's available in the market. Right now it's not available. So we'll go through R10 as well. So let's just uh, update uh, Hacker F1 firmware. So this is the link and this is the latest firmware which uh, is out uh, five days ago so I have already downloaded this firmware and let me just minimize and let's just clear out and let me just do CD so this is the folder uh, in which uh, our firmware is so you can see so let me connect my board and it's connected as you can see and let's just do hackrf info first so we can see if the board is uh, available on our kali linux so as you can see it's available let's just clear out and first we are going to update the cpld uh, so first we, what we have to do is we have to type hackrf1 hackrf underscore cpld uh, j tag Mm. and this is the default uh, xsvf file which is in firmware folder so we have to first update this file so it's updated and as they are saying if led 1 2 and 3 uh, blinking means cpld program success LED 3 blinking uh, which is red means there is an error so let's just see so over here you can see LED 1 2 3 are blinking that means our CPLD program is uh, installed correctly so let me just do reset and now let's just do hackrf info one more time So as you can see board found now let's just clear out and now we are going to update our firmware so to update firmware you have to type hackrf let's just go in the uh, uh, firmware uh, folder first so it's firmware uh, hyphen bin and let's just type hackrf slash with uh, hyphen w and this is the file which is hackrf underscore one underscore usb dot bin and let's just hit enter so it's saying board is undetected so what we have to do is we have to unplug and replug so let me do it one more time And let's just do hackrf info. So now the boot is connected. Let's just clear out and let's just run the command again. And it's writing and writing done. So let's just now do hackrf1. Sorry, hackrf info. And our firmware is up to date as you can see firmware version is updated on 24 02 and 1 so this was five days ago so this is how you can update uh, your latest uh, firmware in your hack rf1 board thank you